Hi, I'm Nicole Justine Reed. When I throw out the word nutrition, what comes to mind right now? Food? Supplements? Vitamins? Chances are whatever you're thinking has to do with your body. Nutrition for your body. This is how we use this word. Makes sense, right? Well, what about spiritual nutrition? Well, this is something that's also really important if you want to be happy and have a fulfilled life. You need to feed your spirit just as well as you feed your body because you are this integrated dynamic being and you need to be feeding all parts of you if you're going to be thriving, which is what I'm assuming you want. So what is spiritual nutrition and how do you go about doing it? Well, spiritual nutrition is really about feeding and nourishing the spiritual body, just like you would the physical body, so that it can be thriving, can be optimal, can be in full wellness and wholeness, and really accessing that whole place that is already within you. This is not a place that you have to get to, but it's a place to feed. And this is what you do through spiritual nutrition. And so what are some of the ways that we can do this? Well, it's different for everybody. I mean, there's no hard and fast rules. The same thing with foods. You might want to, you know, try, you know, different kinds of diets, you know, different kinds of, uh, and when I say diet, I don't mean uh, to lose weight diet, but like what you're going to eat diet, right? So uh, food regimens that work really well for your body type or for your, whatever your goals are, what different people will react differently. It's the same thing with your spirit. What lights you up? What feeds your soul? What nourishes your spirit? That's what I'm really interested in. And that's what I'm hoping that you're interested in as well. And it's going to be different for each person. So as I work with clients, I'm noticing that different things will light up different people or in different combinations of things as well. Of course, there are also some commonalities that we're all really needing, some basic fundamental spiritual nutrition that we just need as spiritual beings having a human existence. And some of these are things like connection and love. But the way that you might go about doing it will be different. So think about, I'm going to throw out some ideas here and think about what might be something that would feel satisfying or feel nutritious for your soul. And, and do this by like just sort of sensing into your body or your mind or, um, you know, a sense or um, I usually do it through my body of like resonance, you know, when you're like, oh yeah, some, like that click, you know, like, oh, that, that sounds good. That sounds like, like maybe it's like a leaning forward or a lightness of being at the mention of this. Okay. So here we go. Here are some f a few things that you can use for spiritual nutrition. You can be out in nature. Okay. So if that's a yes, think about what it is. Is it mountains, ocean, uh, the desert, trees, some combination thereof? So get really specific with what that is. Maybe you like being um, active. Maybe there's something that's spiritually nourishing about really being in motion, you know, just really having that, um, that, that constant sense of movement, whether it's fast or slow, but just like maybe it's, maybe it's dancing, it's moving your body, or if it's just kind of like being kind of engaged in that way. Maybe it's about stillness. Maybe it's really about going in towards that deep presence and really feeling into that greater part of you in a deeper way. And I do recommend this for everybody, really, because it's really fun to experience that, to know that you are more than your physical body. It might be also something like creativity, you know, and there's so many ways to express yourself, but creativity can absolutely be fuel for your soul. It's a way that your soul gets to express itself. And so if that's lighting you up, do you paint, do you sculpt, do you dance? Maybe it's about sound and music or smells and, you know, different scents coming together. We're putting it all together and creating an atmosphere for people. Maybe it's about taste. Maybe you like to cook or bake, right? So, so all of these different ways you can express yourself. Then there's also um, community engagement. Maybe it's like, maybe you really like being around a lot of people. Well, what kind of people? What kind of group? A small group, a big group, a regular group, a variety of people. What lights you up? What really nourishes your soul? Right? So getting, getting really, really curious about this. And so maybe for you, it's really about serenity and tranquility and calmness and slowing down. Or maybe it's about adventure, you know, and really sort of seeking thrills and taking risks and really pushing yourself. Maybe it's a combination of both and you need both in your life. You know, it's that kind of balance. So what is it for you? What lights up your spirit? 
This is what you want to be really focusing on. Get really, really clear. What do you value? What resonates for you? What feels nourishing? What feels fulfilling? Do you feel like yourself expand? Do you feel yourself feel like you're thriving, that you feel whole? This is how you want to live your life. If you're just like kind of going through the motions, you know, just maybe doing things that you think you should be doing or things you feel like you have to be doing or, um, you know, just, just having a job just to pay the bills without really taking any steps towards um, nourishing your soul in other ways, your soul's going to get depleted. It's like if you're eating the wrong foods, right? Like you're not going to feel really good. You're not going to be thriving, right? So you really want to figure out what are those, those key points for you and then how are you going to integrate them into your life? And maybe it's through your career or job or calling. Maybe it's through your social um, events and experiences. Maybe it's through hobbies, right? Maybe it's a combination of all of these things. But you want to be feeding your soul on a regular basis. You need to be doing that if you're going to thrive and if you're going to have a meaningful, fulfilling existence. So post in the comments below what you're coming up with. What works for your spiritual nutrition? How are you nourishing your spirit? And the more we can share ideas with each other, you know, we can find those little nuances and we'll find our commonalities. Because there's a, there's a, there's a lot of us who really feel nourished by the same things. Uh, or, and then there's also those of us who feel nourished by different things or combinations of things, right? And it's all good. So it's really getting clear on what it is for you. And if you are finding what I'm sharing valuable, please subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you here regularly so we can chat about all these cool things. And I want to help you thrive. You know, this is what we're all here for, is to really enjoy our lives, to be the best that we can be. And part of that, a huge part of that, is about feeding our spirits. So get clear on what nutrition you need for your spirit. Please give it to yourself. Until next time, enjoy.